Hey guys, it's Dale here from The Forex Guy. Got a price action trade demonstration here for you today. I haven't been recording videos for a while, I've been very busy, so I just took a trade here on um, my live account and I'm on oil. So I've been watching oil for a while. It's been a um, interesting market. So I've been especially watching the recovery after the oil prices crashed, you know, we got those negative prices on the futures market. The thing with trends is that the trend is your friend till it ends, but it's not even when it ends, it's uh, traders are making mistakes, uh, really simple mistakes, but costly of buying high, too high. The trend is going like this for the majority of the cases or the stable trends anyway, and we, we got that kind of little bit of a stepping pattern here as well. You know, they come in all shapes and sizes, but you know, that's the general pattern. The traders buying these highs and then the retracement comes in and you get stopped out. That's what I see a lot with uh, traders. It, the thing with retail traders, and I am no exception, is always looking for that big reversal because if you catch the big reversal, you're gonna catch a nice move. You'll be at the top or the bottom. The risk reward potential is really high. So it's very lucrative if you can actually do it. But counter trend trading like that is very hard to pull off. Just going against the trend when it's well established, a big problem with uh, a lot of price action traders out there. I see it on forums and in discussions and you know, I even have those uh, tendencies to try and do that kind of stuff myself. You get burned a, a lot if you're not very careful with it. You need very strict uh, criteria for counter trend trading in my opinion. So the trend here, uh, you take one look at this chart, it's a bullish trend. You wanna buy in position, well I call it in position. That is essentially when the market's creating a new higher low or lower high uh, when the market's downtrending. So you, you're trying to target those um, swing points there. But uh, focusing on this oil trade, I've already positioned in, well generally with stable trends, the mean value here, uh, yeah, usually acts as a, a decent reference point for turning points within trends. We can see that we've got the correction. Once we get the correction in the trend, instead of being the newbie trader and buying up here, you know, when the prices are rallying and you're buying high, because the, the main problem with buying high is you're actually buying here with the expectation of the market to, to continue up to hit your three times target or whatever target that you're hitting, expecting too much. Whereas if you wait for a correction, you wait for a nice signal off a higher low, you're in position, you're in a, a cheaper area of the trend, relatively speaking, where we can get into the trend at a cheaper price and we can realistically expect that there is better upside potential on the trade. Because if this trend is gonna continue, it's gonna to wanna to push into high highs. We're already gonna be up one to two before it even breaks these highs anyway, instead of buying here and, and pretty much going into an immediate loss. So we'll be targeting, doing a big trade here. I'm doing a 10 times target, yeah. Not five, I'm doing 10. So to, to basically wrap up what's going on with this trade here is uh, I'm using top-down analysis really to trade lower time frames. When I, when I know I wanna trade something or I see the daily chart and I know that I wanna trade from a certain area, I, I wanna be long or I wanna be short with the trend, Generally, I'll, I'll watch the daily chart for signals, but sometimes the signals, they don't pop up on the daily chart recently. You have to watch like the eight hour chart, the six hour chart, or even the four hour chart. So you basically watch the daily chart and you look and you, you see what's going on. We've got a bullish trend here. I just wanna buy in position with the trend. So off a higher low here, we can start to see what one is developing off the mean value here and also the swing level here. So I just, I wanna be long in this area. You basically take that information and you drop down to your trading time frame. So we'll go to the eight hour here. The eight hour, nice uh, bullish rejection candle coming off here. We've got a little bit of rejection and, and, and an even stronger rejection candle following that. So. I basically just bought it. In this context, when you're looking at a chart, and this is a, another mistake I think a lot of traders make, is they fishing around on the lower time frames, but they don't really have the bigger picture in mind here. The eight hour in, in this view doesn't really look that great just by itself, but when you stack it with the information that we got from the daily chart, it starts to look a lot better. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. On the daily chart, this really does highlight that we, sh we should be definitely looking for longs off this area. There's that daily swing level through there. 
we got a nice bullish rejection signal coming in and I've just uh, pulled the trigger because everything's lining up given the established trend we've got there. This I don't really see any reason why I shouldn't get in now. Let this trade run. We'll see how it goes. I'll come back and show you guys what happened with it in the next part of the video. Probably see you in a month or so. Hey guys, welcome back. I was hoping to come at you uh, in a month or two's time to show you a brilliant trade that had hit a one to 10 target, but the um, oil market pulled back and you know I'm entering around here somewhere and uh, I decided to get out because what I explained before was the swap rate was very high and I can't feasibly sit here and hold this trade and let the swap rate tick over. So I was just uh, counting on this trend to continue to trickle up like this. We got a pretty heavy sell off here today. We got pretty close to my break even point. So I just took profit, not much. And I thought that was gonna be it and I was gonna do a video, just conclude that it didn't work out. However, we still have a nice trend. We do have the correction and we are at the location where we do expect if the trend is gonna continue, we're gonna see some kind of follow through here. So I was watching the intraday charts to see if there was any kind of pickup signal here. And I seen this pattern here on the four hour. I like this pattern. I've got to do a bit more research on it, but I'm happy to take a shot at this because I already have a bit of profit left over. So this will be a, a cheap trade for me to try and get back into oil here. This video is about top down analysis, right? So keep in mind what the information that we've taken from the daily chart. The daily chart shows us that we are in a position where the trend could pick up from. We're on dynamic support. We bring that information here, which is important. We don't just look at the four hour chart here and, and basically start looking at this stuff without the macro view. I've seen this pattern a lot, watching the charts over the 10 years or so. You know, you see these patterns, basically a rejection event where you will see like this candle here has a long lower tail. So the market's basically dropped down and searched around these prices here. We found, I guess you could say, a bit of a defense from the bulls here. There's bullish activity picking up here and it's rejected lower prices here and we got this uh, lower wick. And it's quite a dominant feature within this area. But that alone, you don't really just pull the buy trigger on because you know it, it is part of a very heavy bearish candle. Then we basically stalled for 12 hours there, four times three. The interesting thing that's happened now is we actually went down for another attempt at a break. I do wish this was a bit more exaggerated, but uh, we actually tried to break through that low there and immediately we started to see some rejection follow up here and we're seeing strength again. Like I said, I wish this was more elaborated, but it is kind of a little fake out thing that's happened here. The strength is following through. Basically what this is communicating is that the market has tried to go lower once, got rejected here, and then it's tried to go lower in attempt to break into lower lows through this low here, and that's been rejected as well, and the strength is coming back in now. That is basically the pattern that I've been eyeballing. We only got 15 minutes left on this candle here, and I gotta go out, so I'm just gonna get into this, and uh, I'll do that with my trade panel. Okay, so this is my trade panel here. This is what I use now. Uh, to enter all my trades. You would have seen it in the other videos. You can check out uh, more about this on my YouTube playlist on, on how to use this thing. I was gonna go for a break of the high here, but we're so close to breaking that high. Uh, I, I think I'm just gonna enter the market here. So we'll do that. And now my stop loss, I've gotta be careful here. I have to put that below candle zero because it's the current candle. So it's gonna put uh, my stop loss there, but I really should give it a bit of buffer room I might do a manual entry, uh, 38.911, 911 emergency, hopefully not. And the target will go for that 10 again. See if we can get back in. I am gonna put $500 on this again because that damn swap rate is so heavy. And we should just be able to click buy here and it will get us in. And that's it, beautiful. And we're in, so this is the setup. Bit of an advanced setup, and I must admit it's it's a little uh, on the weaker side. I, I would have much preferred to see this setup a bit more elaborated, but think about the daily chart again. We're bringing that information 
from the daily chart into the lower time frame trading environment here and we've got them you know basically lining up together uh, half of this trade's already paid for pretty much so I'm, I'm risking very little to give this a shot for the reward potential of 10x i can't sit around in this in this uh, market if it's going to, going to start going sideways or jagged kind of price action like that where it's going to take a long time to hit the target just that spot break it, it's the killer here otherwise i would have been happy to, to let it run and so it's a bit of a twist to the video here okay so we got in here and well, i was up, up a little bit failed to break these highs uh, dropped down quite heavily so i i had to close it before i went to bed because i just uh, i was either going to lose money or lose too much on the spot uh, the swap rate and now we're getting back in at this next higher low here that's developing and i'm also excited to put it on youtube and to share this with you guys so hopefully it works out well it's a good demonstration of just how little simple things with the price action like that you can pick out can turn into powerful results all right so i'll leave the video here and hopefully i'm back next time with some better news two thousand years later i've been sitting here for days Hey traders, it's Dale back here and I'm looking just to close off this video now because I basically abandoned the uh, the trade idea with, with oil. I found better trades and I should be able to put some videos up about those trades, especially one on gold that I'm in at the moment. Just this UK oil market has been really sideways. I really, I mean, it's done nothing for the last month or so. Uh, the only reason I told you I got into this, or I was really interested, is because of the US spot market oil. This is what I wanted to get into, and I, I would have been loaded after this. I would have had a nice 1 to 10 trade for sure after this one. And I thought, well, I can't get into this because my broker's cut it off. I'll get into the UK one. They, they seem to move in, in parallel, so I've been trying to get into this, and... You know what a punch in the i just quit with this it just it's like a you know dancing around in a minefield you know just in this consolidation it was real heavy traffic dense going nowhere just really piss you off kind of market and other markets were starting to move and that so i i wanted to get into a trade and make a good video here but uh the, the moral moral of the story is you know there's there's better markets out there you know follow the trends you you follow what money likes and Money doesn't like this oil market right now in the UK. And, you know, we've got gold here. You know, silver has been exploding. Uh, the US dollar has been uh, moving really nice. So, you know, these, these nice flowing markets with volatility in them, just close this shit down and you, you get on with it with these other markets that are actually producing volatility. Uh, hopefully you pick up some good trades and I uh, hope to see you around on the side. What we do is we did keep the oil, if you don't mind. We kept the oil.